my name is Tuli and today we'll have a look at how to manage your candidate pool in Team Taylor. Let's have a look. Now let's start by clicking into our candidates tab. When in the candidates tab, you'll be able to see the basic details of the candidates always here on the left, as well as some other information from them. Here on the top right corner, you'll be able to do some actions within your candidates tab. You'll, for example, be able to manually add candidates into your platform. You can create your own segments and filters for you to use later on. You can customize the columns that we see up here. You can also do bulk actions with your candidates as well as search for them with some keywords. To manually add a candidate into the platform, you'll need to click on the pink plus here. Then you can simply drag their resume here onto the right hand side and their basic details will auto populate. If you want to add multiple candidates at once, you can simply download their CVs here on the left hand side and their basic details will again then get automatically populated into these spaces here. Now let's have a look at how we can create some segments into your platform so that you can easily filter onto the candidates that are the most relevant for you. We can find these filtering options here on the left hand side behind the add filter button. As you can see, we have plenty of different filtering options here for you to use. For example, if you want to filter on the candidates based on some of their resume text. We can also, for example, filter on the candidates based on a department. And if you want to, you can also layer on these filters. So now I can also add another filter here based on a tag. Once you have all the relevant filters there that you want to use, you can also save these as segments for you to use later on by clicking onto the Save as Segment button. You will then simply need to give this filter a name, choose an emoji if you want to, and you can either have it as your personal filter or you can also make this segment appear for all users if you are in the platform with the admin user access level. Once your segment has been created, it will be visible here behind your segment section on the right hand side and you can easily find the company level segments as well as your own segments. Now that your filter has been created, you will also be able to customize the columns that we see up the top here by clicking on the customize columns section here. You can simply then from here, for example, tick on the ratings if you want to include them in your main view. The next button that we find in here is our bulk select button. With this, you can do actions with multiple candidates at once, either by selecting on the individual candidates, or for example, now that we're inside this filter that we just created, if you want to send, let's say, a message to all of these candidates, you can simply select all of them by clicking here to the name or email button. The bulk actions that we can do from here is to, for example, move these candidates to a different department, send them a message, share these candidates with an external person who may not have access to your Team Taylor platform. We can also add them to an existing job in the platform, as well as behind the three dots, we have some other actions that we can do. For example, for these rejected potential candidates, we could add them to a nurture campaign. Thank you for watching. Remember that if you've got any questions or you encounter any issues, you can always reach out to our support chat via the chat button in your platform. Happy recruiting!